Welcome to my course, Software Architecture and Design. In this session, we are going to learn about what is software architecture. Hi, I am Farzana Sadia, Senior Lecturer of Software Engineering Department, Dakota International University. So let's, uh, let's first talk about what is software architecture. Software architecture, what does that mean? At first, we try to understand what is the meaning of architecture. Architecture is a practice or an art for designing and constructing buildings. Like there is a beautiful building over here in the scenario. Here, the design and the construction of this building is called the architecture of this building. So what will be the architecture of a software? The software architecture is also like building and designing different components of the system. Like if we see at this, at this image, we can see this is a software architecture view. In this scenario or in this image, we can see different, different boxes or different elements and components these components are together working together and they have relationships with each other so if we decompose the whole system into different components and subsystem we can build software architecture so to achieve a software architecture you have to decompose your whole system into different components these components will work together. Suppose in this system, there are different user module editors. Through these editors, user interact with the system. So whenever a, a user puts an input, that input goes to the logic and the model component. This model and logic component works with database. This logic and model component also works with us web service providers. The web service providers also provide data to logic and model. That logic and model or provides the that, that data which is provided by web service provider. That data logic and mo model components passes to the user. So the whole system is decomposed in different components. So this is an architectural view of a software. So basically the software architecture is a combination of different structures which the structures so structures of the components which are related with each other and they work together. And the system Software architecture is the highest level of the system. If you if you see the software architecture, we you will be able to know the highest level of the system and how the system is constructed. You can get the idea of the bird's eye view of the system. This is the fundamental design. Our software architecture provides the fundamental design of the system. And an architecture of a system describes its major components, their relationships, and how they interact with either each other. This is the main thing a software architecture do, describes. So, let's. So, software architecture is a combination of structures. So, what is a structure? So, a structure is a set of elements that work together by a relationship so what are the elements the elements are the elements are the combinations of different tasks so here are some example in a system a user can register can log in can view product the, the user can view and update information can add products to cart can check out can payment these all are different tasks or activity each of the tasks can be considered as a as an element or a group of tasks of or these activities 
can be commonly identified as element. So, an element is nothing but a group of activities or tasks. And structure is the combination of different elements. And many structures, the combination of many structures creates the architectural view. These are different uh, activities which should be considered during software development. Like what is the required uptime percentage and what operations need to be secured. These are the performance or non-functional requirement or performance issues that a software architect considers during de developing the software. So, these are also tasks. This task can be considered as elements or a group of this task can be considered as element. Then a group of elements will be considered as structures. Then a group of structures combined can be, combined can be considered as software architecture. So, this is the end. See you in the next session. Thank you.